Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the COJ USD Google Certified Student Google Calendar Tasks. So, <clears throat> if we take a look at your checklist, the first uh, thing on our checklist says create a new calendar called Avengers Assemble. So, what we're going to do here is over here on the left side, you're going to scroll down, and the first thing you see is a list of calendars that uh, you have created. Um, <clears throat> so the ones that say my calendars, those are the ones that you created and or people gave you permission to edit them. If you scroll down farther, it says other calendars. Now, these are calendars that other people have shared with you, but you're just allowed to look at them. You can't edit them at all. So down here next to other calendars, you see the plus button. And this is where we're going to go to create a new calendar. So I click the plus button there. And I hit create new calendar. So right here, I'm going to give my calendar a name. So on your checklist, it says to title your new calendar, Avengers Assemble. And then you click Create Calendar. It might take a second for it to create. And when it's done, it'll say here at the bottom, uh, Avengers Assemble successfully created. That means it, it is done. So now I'm going to click the Back button right here. Next on our checklist, it says, share your Avengers Assemble calendar with someone. So if I hover over here, you'll see that the Avengers Assemble has been added to the list of my calendars because these are the ones that I created. So if you hover your mouse over there, then you're going to come here and click the three dots. Then select Settings and Sharing. And we're going to scroll down here where, to where it says Add People. Click there. And you're going to put some of the name in there to share this calendar with. And then click Send. So the person that I share this with can see the events. They, they can just look at this calendar. They can't edit the calendar. They can't add anything to it. So on their end, it would show up in the other calendars list. So we go back. Our next uh, uh, thing on our checklist says to create an event. So uh, right here, you see the Create button here in the top left corner. You click there. And then we see the pop-up here to start creating an event. Uh, my advice is whenever you uh, create an event, is always click right here, More Options, because it's going to give you, it's going to go full screen now. And then you, you can see all the different tools you have available to making your, uh, your event. So in the checklist, it says to title, title your new event as Avengers Watch Party. So we're going to come up right here, Avengers Watch Party. And then on the uh, checklist, it says to set the date and time for next Friday at 7 p.m. So I'm going to click here on the date, and next Friday will be the 22nd. And I'm going to set the time right here to 7 p.m. And the last Avengers movie was like three hours, so I'm going to have it end at 10 p.m. since I know it's, it's a really long movie. There we go. Next, we're going to invite someone to the event. So, so to invite somebody, you're going to click right here where it says Add Guests and put their name in. Oh, and now we have someone invited. Next, we're going to add a description to the event. Here at the bo very bottom here, it says Add Description. So I'm going to click there. And on your checklist, it says to the, the, the uh, description should be Bring Your Own Popcorn. The next thing it says to do is set the event to repeat every Friday. So this is a good skill to have because um, if you set it to repeat, then you don't have to create the, create the event over and over if it's always going to be at the same time. So right here below the time, it says do not repeat or does not repeat. So you click there, come down to custom, click on Friday, and then hit done. And now it's gonna, it says here weekly on Friday. That means every Friday it's going to show up on your calendar. And then anybody that you invited to as a guest shows up on their calendar every Friday at 7 p.m. Next, we're going to add this event to our Avengers Assemble calendar. So by default, uh, this calendar is put on, when you make an event, it's put on your default calendar. The default calendar is always titled with your name. You see it right here. But if you want to put it on another calendar that you created, click right there. And you're going to change it. <clears throat> to another calendar, just like you did right there. And the next thing here we have to do is to set notifications. So we're going to set two notifications. One will be for email. The other one 
will be um, <clears throat> a regular pop-up notification that you would get on your phone. So we're going to click right here, Add Notification. And when it says notification, that means it's going to be a pop-up on your phone. So th that's the first one. But I want to send another one that's going to be an email. So if I click Add Notification again, it gives me a second one. But it's exactly the same as the first notification. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click where it says Notification. I'm going to change it to Email. And I'm going to make it uh, one day before. So I'll get an email notification a day before and a pop-up notification on my phone 10 minutes before. Uh, next, we're going to attach our Avengers doc to this event. So the on the Google Docs portion of this uh, program, uh, you created an, an Avengers document in Google Docs. So uh, I'm going to add that to um, the calendar. So over here above the description, you see a little paper clip. I'm going to click there. And it's going to be near open up your Google Drive. you're going to find your Avengers document, click select, and now it's been attached to the event. So next thing we're going to do here is now save our event. Our event. Now you hit send because you invited people. And the last thing on our checklist is to subscribe to someone else's calendar. So to do so, all you got to do is simply <clears throat> put someone's name right here. And you can go ahead and search for someone else's calendar. That's all you all you got to do to search uh, for someone else's calendar. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section or message me um, through email.